will explain you some important tricks to remember the order of the atomic orbitals. Okay, so you have to write the atomic, uh, the electronic configuration of the element in the periodic table. So we can easily write it for the lower member. So we can't easily write it for the higher member of the element in the periodic table. So okay, so that's why I am going to explain you some tricks. So in a tricks, then uh, put more on okay. Uh, I am going to explain you today. So what is that tricks? So uh, the electronic configuration is written according to the energy level diagram as we already studied in the previous video, right? So what is the energy level diagram? So I will draw the energy level diagram first. So one s, two s, two p, three s. 3p, this is 3d, 4s, 4p, 4d, and this is 4f, 5s, 5p, 5d, and this is 5f, okay, 6, 6s, 6p, and this is Sadness. Is it clear? So this is the energy level diagram. So first one is should be written. So this is the way. Of writing the orbitals in the increasing order of the energy by using the energy level diagram. So now I am going to explain you the tricks without using the energy level diagram. Okay. So S, P, D, and F atomic orbitals are there, right? So we have to write the atomic orbital from left to right. And whatever the atomic orbitals we are going to write is, so that should be written in two times. Okay. So first you have to the yes. So S, S. Okay. So any bar control error is the same. Next term, PS and PS. Okay. Next term, DPS, D. P, yes, D, P, yes. Okay. And the last one, F, D, P, S, F, D, P, yes. Okay. So this is the way of writing the atomic orbital in the increasing order of the energy without using this energy level diagram. Okay. So now, now first thing is yes so orbital. We have to consider only the yes atomic orbital. Yes atomic orbital has to consider matrix. And we have to give the number in the increasing order. So 1 na, it is 2 na, it is 3 na, it is 4 na, it is 5, 6 and this is 7. Understood? So then come for the P block. So we had already taken for a, a 1 for the S. Yes. So that's why we have to start with 2 for P. Understood. So here are the already one na tone to give now number yes to yes. So I can be here at home. So two and this is three. So this is four. This is five. This is six. So this is seven. Okay. Understood. So two p, three p, four p, five p. 6p and this is a 7p. Is it clear? So next, oh, I left one s here actually. So 1, 2. So this is 3. This is 4. This is 5. This is 6. This is 7. Okay. So this is 8. Okay. So this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So next to orbital is the orbital. So I have taken 1 for the S, 2 for the P. So that's why we have to start with 3 for the D. 
d orbital ke three to hobeko so 3d so ilon d ada 4d ilon d ada 5d and here one more d is the 6d understood so next f series f block ke naam pehle to start mat dekho i have taken three four d orbitals that's why so we have to start with 4f okay so 4f and this is 5 understood so this is the order of the atomic orbitals in the increasing order of the energies so node one is first one ida next two s next two p next three s then three p four s then three d four p five s so similarly for the other atomic orbital in the energy level diagram understood so this is one tricks to remember the order of atomic orbital in the increasing order of the energy so from that we can easily write the electronic configuration of the higher number of the element in the below table so ni yavade tagondu maadabodu so i am going to take uh, calcium so which is uh, having the uh, atomic number 20 okay so electronic configuration hang barbeku first yavu baruta 1s so maximum capacity is 2 next 2s the maximum capacity is 2 then 2p maximum capacity is 6 6 so count maadko tobe baruko to bodala okay so 2 plus 2 4 plus 6 10 na 2 so 3s 2 3p 3s 2 3p uh, 6 and 4s 2 So ten plus ten twenty. Understood. So this is the electronic configuration of calcium. So by using this uh, tricks, we can use some uh, tricks to remember atomic number of the element in the below table. Okay. So atomic number na a n p two b ko ano na yung ati kaya ko niya. Understood. So this is the below table as you already know. So the first two group elements are called as S block element. And the third two, eight, uh, twelve group elements are called D block elements, and the uh, thirteen to eighteen group elements are called as P block elements, right? Then separately F block elements are placed below the periodic table, right? So which contain fourteen uh, elements, okay? So fourteen elements are there. So that is F block element. So two series are there, four F and five series, right? So as you already know, there are eighteen the groups in the periodic table, right? And the periods. So this is the first period, second period, this is the third period, fourth period, fifth and sixth and seventh. So seven periods are there in the periodic table. Okay. So now let's start with the tricks. So tricks in a problem, right? One thing you have to buy at the atomic number. So the lower number you have to buy at the higher number you have. We can't buy at the atomic number. So that's why this tricks. Okay. So the tricks na it will be very very good smart to do. This is one one tricks to remember the atomic number. Okay. So let's start with the number. So that is two eight eight. 18, 18, 32, and this is 32. Okay, so these are the number of elements in the periods. Okay, so first period of this is the 12, hydrogen and helium, right? So second period of this is the six elements are there in the second period. Similarly for the other periods, understood? So 2, 8, 8, 18, 18, 32, 32. Understood? Yeah. So those are the number of elements in the periods. So let's start with the S block elements. So for S block, for S block, we have to use this series only. Okay, in this series, the column are there too. Understood? So now I am writing the element na row wise for how many? Eight, eighteen, eighteen, thirty-two, and this is thirty-two. Okay. So start with the hydrogen. So as you know. The hydrogen is the first element in the periodic table. It is having the atomic number one. So in the addition part of the whole, so two plus one. So that is the next atomic number of the next element. 
so hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and calcium so those are the crystal elements okay so 8 plus 3 that is 11 so 11 is the atomic number of sodium 11 plus 8 that is nothing but 19 so that is the atomic number of potassium 19 plus 18 so that is 37 so that is the atomic number of rubidium so 37 plus 18 that is 55 so that is the atomic number of cesium so 35 plus 32 that is 87 so that is the atomic number of calcium okay so this is the way to remember the atomic number of the element in the s block okay so this is also s block so first two group elements are called s block elements so start with the beryllium. Bar so beryllium mo in the atomic number 4 the, right so what would be the oxid, uh, atomic number of magnesium? So 4 plus 8. So that is 12. So 12 is the atomic number of magnesium. So 12 plus 8 that is a 20. So 20 is the atomic number of calcium. 20 plus 18 that is the atomic number of strontium. 38 plus 18. So that is a 56. That is the atomic number of barium. 56 plus 32 that is the atomic number of radium. Okay. So this is for the S block elements. Now let's see for the P block elements. So P block model is there. If one num first two numbers na P divided. Okay. So we, we have to start with the second element. So that is 8, 8, 18, 18, 32 and 32. Is it clear? So helium is the first uh, element uh, in the uh, P block. So it is in the 18th group. So that is also known as zero group element. So let's start now. So 2 plus. Uh, so boron is 5. Carbon is 6. Nitrogen is 7. Oxygen is 8. Chlorine is 9. And neon is 10. Okay. So 5 plus 8. So that is 13. So 13 is the atomic number of aluminium similarly for the other element. So 6 plus 8, 14. 7 plus 8, 15. Uh, 8 plus 8, 16. 9 plus 8, 17. And 10 plus 8, 18. Okay. So this is the way to uh, remember the atomic number is the gallium. So gallium is having the atomic number C here. So it is 13 plus 18. So that is the 31. Okay. So similarly 14 plus 18, so that is 32, 15 plus 18, that is 33, 16 plus 18, that is 34, so this is a 35 and this is a 36, okay. So this is for the P block. So next we will discuss about the D block elements. So we have to uh, uh, leave this 8 and 8, so 8 and 2 over 2, so next start with 18, 18, 32 and 32, okay. Is it clear? So D block in the 18th start at the top. So it is 21. So 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and this is 30. Okay. So 18 plus 21, that is 39. 18 plus 22, that is 14. So this is 41. This is 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and this is 48. Understood? Clear? Yeah. So this is the way of remembering the atomic number of the element in the period table. Okay? So by using the number of elements in the period, so we can easily find out the atomic number of the any element in the period table. So you have the element value group, you find the part one. For example, we have the element as the code. Hmm. So 32. Plus 48. So, 4, 3, 7, 80. So, 80 is the atomic number of mercury. So, like this, we can easily remember the atomic number of the element 